What's up, Cricks? In the previous episode, we finally got to hear the engine for the first time. And I tell you, I was nervous. My heart rate was so fast. But not to forget that we had to go through my stubbornness where I tried to fix the fuel reel multiple times until I hit the dead end. So I ended up buying a new fuel reel. Nevertheless, I was happy that I managed to start the engine after three years since I rebuilt it. Now everything looking good and I cannot wait to show you what I did more on the car. On my 2JZ drift build. So at this point, I decided to work on the downpipe and the wastegate pipe. So I'm trying to figure out how to do the downpipe so that my whole engine bay don't get black. It's right now full of black smoke residue all over my engine bay due to no downpipe. So let's try to puzzle this and get it. And this is a 90 degree angle. I plan to, I plan to get this tilted in an angle. And it would go straight down there. I think it will work. This is me being stupid, not sticking with the plan, and I went to do a different design while I was doing it. As you can see, I already planned at the start where I wanted to do an elbow and go straight down, but I decided to add like another straight to extend the elbow further back. So all I did was tack well the whole thing so that I can test fit it and as you all know that I did not stick with this design so thank goodness I just tack weld it. Here I was just making a hole for the O2 sensor. Which didn't really matter because I was going to change the whole design. Then I worked on my dump pipe for my wastegate. As you can see I have a lot of distraction here. Look at this cutie. I got that pipe bent at the exhaust shop, so I didn't need to do so many welds on a pipe. And that is my wastegate dump pipe. And at this moment, I reverted to my previous first design. Move all the tech welds and redesign the whole thing. Yep. At this point, I was thinking, why didn't I do this in the first place? Hold up guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel, it will help my channel a lot. And also check out my merch which is out, the Cricks Racing Tee! Check it out on Shopee and the first 30 people who get it will get a Crick sticker. I'll see you guys. Alright, thank you for the short break and back to the video. I have revised my design and I got approval from Mael. So the before design, Mael like didn't say anything but I could see it through his face. He was like... <laughs> you know what? I also don't like the design. I decided to go with this single elbow without that straight one. Because initially I wanted to make space for the wastegate to be like below it. So that's why I needed to do like a straight. But now I found another way, uh, another route for the wastegate. This will do. This is actually quite dope. I like this design. I also approve. Thinking whether should I tag weld it or like weld it all. So I don't have to come back here again. But let me tag weld it first. By far, for all my welds, I think this is the best one that I did. I guess this is the nicest one, I think. Not too shabby! <laughs> so 
so I finished welding the downpipe and the dump pipe for the wastegate. I also managed to get some power steering lines and my turbo water lines, so I just went home and just installed them. That looks pretty sick. No hit, straight down. So this is the front wastegate. There's one more at the rear but I need to thermal wrap this because it's very near to the radiator water out. Installed the lambda sensor. Then throughout the night I just installed the power steering lines and the turbo water lines. And the next day is going to be a very important part of the car. The intercooler! So I just got this and I'm ready to test fit it. Initially, I wanted to mount it upside down because I wanted a straight direct direction to the throttle body But after that, I realized that it was too close to the radiator and it would defeat the purpose of cooling the air I just went back to the conventional way of installing an intercooler Then sat down and planned how am I going to do this So roughly knowing how I'm going to mount the intercooler right now, I just need to settle the issue of my clearance of my radiator and a new collection to my equipment, which is a welding machine! I finally got it! It's gonna be pretty useful because I can do repairs and also fabrication. Oh, I feel, I feel so, got it all set up. Really excited to try this out. Well, it's uh, enough for like intercooler piping and all. It's not really for big welds because the maximum amps is like 200. But good enough for intercooler pipes and some brackets and stuff. The first welding project that I did with my new welding machine was the back wastegate pipe. And I know you guys are gonna say, oh my god, it's so dangerous, you're welding on a wood table. It's fine. And finally, I was done with the wastegate dump pipe and the down pipe. Right now, I'm just gonna be cutting part of my body. It's not really a main chassis, so you don't have to worry. This is just the one that's holding the radiator because I want the radiator to slightly just tilt by few mm I think I might as well just cut this whole piece off and make a new bracket for the radiator it also is better for the clearance for the fan so that's what I'm gonna do this is I think the first thing I'm cutting off my car body a bit nervous but well I hope my design works I already actually draw draw it out yep you can't really understand it only I can understand it but that is basically the design that I'm going for. So, time for some grinding. Right now I have clearance, so I can move the radiator front a bit and look at that room. Well, it's not much, but it's better than before. There's so much more room now. My worry is whether it can, it can clear the hood. But no worries on the hood, I can just smash it and make sure the area clears. And it was time for some fabrication! First, I started off with the clearance of the throttle body and the radiator on the hood and after that, I decided to make the mount for the radiator. Once I was done with the radiator mount, I decided to bleed my radiator and let the water run into my engine block. Right now, it doesn't have any exhaust pipe, it's just the downpipe, but it sounds good. The car is not tuned, so the idle is a bit rough. 
As you can see, there's still a lot of white smoke because there's a lot of oil still in the piston chamber. It's new. After that's all done, I guess it's time to move on to the intercooler mount. That is, it's not gonna let my pipe clear, so I need to probably shave some of this chassis part off. Yeah, I guess this has to go because I don't want the intercooler to be like too out because I don't want to cut much of the bumper. I know it's it's it's, it's stupid, right? I rather cut the chassis than the bumper, but. Yeah, I don't want it to be too far out. I want it to sit like just nice inside. The best is like try to get it behind this bar, but it's kind of impossible because end up cutting the main area of it. So just a bit. It's not gonna do any harm. I was having second thoughts, but I was gonna go with it. Right now, I'm just making the brackets. So I decided to do a four point mount on my intercooler so the two sides one are done and right now I just want to do two more points on the top of the intercooler. So I had to make two bungs on top of the intercooler and again with thick aluminium welding. As you all know my skills for aluminium welding is not that great but it did not go that bad. So not everything went well. I actually screwed up one of the bunk and I made a new one. This one seems pretty okay. Not that bad, not too shabby. Just need to pull one more over here. It's a very expensive um, learning curve because once you screw up, these are not cheap. Aluminium, yep. So let's go, second round. I think I did a pretty decent job with this one because it doesn't consist with any air or water or fuel. So I think this would do. Since I already did the bracket, all I need to do is just do a little bit of bending and drill some holes and do a little bit of welding and voila. Really happy with how it's mounted and just sitting here and just appreciating my work. This is what I call fabrication. This is one of fabrication's work. Yeah. Well, next is to get the piping and to cut this off. We're actually very close to doing it. I'm, I'm so happy. I don't know. All the hard work has paid off. Almost, almost there, almost there. That's right, Cricks. We are almost there. All I need to do is the intercooler piping. So all I did was sit down there and just admire my own work. It was really, really nice. I really enjoyed the whole entire journey and I learned so much, guys. I hope to see you in the next episode. Make sure you subscribe and support my channel. Thank you so much, guys. Whatever you're doing, crick it up.